Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode of the Glory Hunter Challenge. Here in today's episode we have the quarter final of the Champions League where we paid Bayo 4 in what was the easiest tie that we could have drawn in this quarter final. The winner of this will face the winners of the Liverpool Bayern Munich game and if it's somehow Liverpool it would be the fourth and fifth time we've played them in about a month. That is correct, that's how much we've played Liverpool Football Club over the last month. That leads me into what I'm going to say next. If you haven't been watching since episode 16, you probably need to go back because you need to see what happened against Liverpool and Napoli first leg. You need to see what happened against Napoli in the second leg and obviously the other Liverpool game too in the Cabaret Cup final. And then you also have to go see what's happened in the league because we currently sit for you know a couple of points clear of Liverpool with a game in hand, five points clear of Manchester City with the same amount of games. We've got Chelsea in the middle of this Biro 4 madness and... Well, we should have been out of the Champions League, and here we are, and we're going to do the easiest side to play. Let's talk about Bayer 04 before we get into this as well. Brendan Rodgers in charge. Best player is Ru Yong Jong, and I mean this in the nicest way. If he's their best player, like, don't get me wrong, decent footballer would, would get into my squad, but wouldn't be on my starter. I think that's a pretty good thing. Adam Holzak is their best prospect, which shows me they don't really have too much youth. Um, I know in real life they had a pretty good year. And then they finished fourth last year, but at the moment, they currently sit 12th in the Bundesliga. With a negative six goal difference. Oh, and their form's been abysmal. Look at this. Since Feb. One win in the Champions League against Inter. They drew to Inter 2-2 away from home. We recapped that last episode. They FM'd Inter to get through. And they just beat Hanover 2-1, but Yuri Alberto scored two. Good little player is Yuri Alberto, not going to lie. He's got 15 and 27. It's not done, not done too bad. I did just see they have Andreas as well. Great footballer for them. They've been picking up Wonder Kid. Joining officially too. Nice. It's actually a little bit of good business there by Brendan Rodgers and co. But look, most vulnerable against a 4-3-3. We play a 4-3-3. And uh, I, I know this first tie is at home, but we should get through this tie in general. Uh, look. The only way we're going to be playing the Chelsea game as the game in this episode as well, not the second leg, is if we beat them 4-0, which, considering what we did to Napoli, could be uh, something that does happen. In terms of the team, though, I uh, feel like we're in a good spot. Creswell's going to start because of his ability to whip in a ball, I do believe, um, as well, and then we'll bring a Stupian on. I just think some dead balls here as we dominate. Creswell could be the way. Um, Zanotto's going to start because he's having a really, really good year. Move Bowen to the other side, and Calvert Lewin with support, of course, up top. Ariola has not been great of late, so I'm actually going to get Pickford in in goal. Both keepers have not been great of late. They've been great of late, to be fair. So we're going to go Pickford in net as well. Hardeki in goal too. They will line up more than likely in a four-three-three. I think they have F Florian Wirtz too. Like to be fair to him, they've actually got a pretty decent side. I don't know how they're here exactly because they really Inter really should have knocked them off. But they have a decent side. Like, Frank Pom's really good and fairly young. I, you know what? This is the sort of team that I would happily move to spend three, four years. And I think in four, and you know, season three and season four of their re redevelopment, if you kept most of their players, you would do a really good job at trying to topple Bayern for one season. But here we go. Champions League, London Stadium. They just witnessed the comeback of Napoli. As we stand the titles in our hands, the only thing we're missing out on is the FA Cup this year at the minute. Dare to dream of the Champions League. Away we go. Uh, being, look, on paper we should beat them. Creswell set piece. Hardecki, great save. Um, on paper we should beat them and we should probably smack him, but I'd just take any lead to Germany if I could, please. It's the Champions League, it's a quarter final. They're here for some sort of reason. Their squad's not that bad. Even though they're having a really bad year. Brendan Rodgers probably is uh, facing the sack in his role. Zanolo's injured. What's new? What is new? Zanolo getting injured. Guy is so injury he is so injury prone. It's not a joke. Well, Tarum comes in, light for light, bowing out to the other side. Every time he starts Zanolo in a big game, he gets injured. Every time off the bench, he makes a good impact. Maybe just a bench play from now on. As Tarum off the bench scores. Marcus Tarum, he's a big boy. He loves a cross back stick. And well, off the bench for an injury to Zanolo and scoring with his head again. That's happened a couple of times this year where we've done that. But we are leading 1-0 here in the Champions League. Great ball in, great header. And Hideki is beat. Playing well, not as maybe as aggressive and attackive as we have been of late, but playing well in terms of not limiting them to doing too much. But Tarum loses out there. Palacios back to Hideki. Hopefully Zanola's not out long term. 
most injuries this time or anything of any decent length of season ending, he would not like. Good pressure must here. Not allowing Wirtz to turn, which is good. Gets on the half turn now, and now he can play out. Andreas drops in very nicely, and that's a great ball to Iria Berto's in some sort of form. What a finish, what a goal. 1-1 one, one just like that. The one thing I will say is we concede too many goals here. I think if we stay here another year, a third season, I'm going to sell Pickford. I sell Pickford. I'm going to sell Areola, and Pickford would be out. I don't think a lot of the goals have been Pickford or Areola's fault. There has been some that have been suspect, but we just can see too much, and our defence is actually pretty good on paper. Only two shots, one on target. We have dominated here. Got 1-1 one, one as it stands. It's not really a good spot to be in. Crows are not having a good game either. We brought him in just for a couple of dead ball specialties. Hasn't really worked out here. Probably should have just started this stupid. Maybe thought about it too much. Look, 57 minutes played. We're going to make a couple of changes here. First thing, first thing first. 4 2 3 1. The Erastica loves scoring a goal, and I am going to get a stupid in. See if a moment arises. Been the better side, but that doesn't mean jack all here in the Champions League. Seniff minute. Bayro four, backstick ball. Headed away. Andreas good enough to bring it down. Calvert Lewin does well. Thumps one out there towards Bowen, who decided to leave it for whatever reason. Gomez will sweep up. Clearances to no one in particular. Could have played back to his keeper or something, but decided to heap it or to hoove it. Calvert Lewin, mistake. Probably too far away to do much. Darryl Diarastica wants it. He's got numbers at the back stick. Diarastica, great break. Good goal. Good press, Calvert Lewin. I got worried he was going to try and go himself. Or he was going to wait for Diarastica to be offside. But it's a great ball. The 4 2 3 1 on the break scores. Great moment. See, I was really thinking he's going to wait for this guy to step up and then he's going to get him offside. But there we go. So your chat's going to go the other side. I'm going to bring Marino in here as well. Calvert-Lewin hasn't done anything. I'm going to actually bring Danny Ings on late doors as an advance forward here because Calvert-Lewin's looking a bit tired. Danny Ings might find us a goal. Set piece. This is where we've had Creswell on, but Bowen can take a good dead ball. Kurt Zeman and Akali, two big men. It's dead. It's going to be them on the break unless a you know, Stupian does step up. Good. The Erastica, good save Hardecki. That could have been free one. Highlight still going here. Tapsoda. Tasponda, Tasoba, I don't know. He's good. All I know is he's good. Merlin. Well built out here from Bayro 4. I've actually been pretty impressed with them. I know they're 12 in the Bundesliga, but they must have just been very unlucky all year. Florian Wirtz, good footballer. Gomez steps up beautifully. Sacido, Marino, Taram. And this is where Bowen needs to get this. He goes the wrong side and goes for buddy Danny Ings and leaves him out of position now. But Taram picks it up. Dear Rastica wants. Dear Rastica gets. Dear Rastica... That's a save and a half from Hardecki. Jesus. Footy blasted it over, but Hardecki, what a save. Kurt Zuma straight at Hardecki again. Without Hardecki in net, we would have got our couple of goal uh, clearance here. Fortunately, the case. We've dominated second half, but only 2-1. You can see the tie and the balance. And against the run, play 2-2. And against the runner, play 2-2. Two, two. two shots on target yet again in the Champions League for two goals, huh? Getting FM no matter where you look. 19 shots, 13 on target. Bowen. Chips one back stick. Marino hits the bar and it comes out. Her FM'd again in the Champions League in the first leg. It was Napoli away, and we got caught 3 0. And here we are, 2 2. We had 21 shots, 13 on target, next year 2.78. They've had two shots on target, not even an next year 1, 2 2 at home. And now we go to Germany, and now the tie swings heavily in favour of Bayro 4. The tie is solely for Bayro 4 right now, and that is another one that you look at and just go, what is this game? Shoulda, coulda, didn't do it. 
twisted ankle. Cannot believe we just drew there. Liverpool drew as well, but yeah. Out three to four weeks, he's going to be out for a, a fair chunk of games. We've got Chelsea in three days. We're going to rest the squad. I'm going to see these guys in a second for the second leg here. I'm going to recap this Chelsea result, which would be huge in the league, but I've given you too many games over too many periods to be giving you this one. Welcome back, YouTube. Second leg, Bayro 4. After drawing 2-2 two, two in a very disappointing result at home. We did play Chelsea in the midweek tie. We did line up slightly different. I went with the two box-to-box -box midfielders, Marino and Suchek. Cecido passed, not fit for the, uh, the tie after picking up a small training injury. So Sidewall played as the ball-winning midfielder because that's his preferred role. We actually won 1-0. We kept the clean sheet. Somehow Kylie got a 6.4 of a clean sheet. Um, and then slightly rotated, as you can see. Not too much. Um, Dear Rastica got a start over Marcus Taram. It wasn't 100%. Obviously Sidewall in for Cecido there as well. And Pasquetta came out for Marino in the box the box. Great result. 1-0. Bowen scored. Calvert-Lewin assist. Very happy with that. Puts us two points clear Liverpool. And to make it even better, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to make it even better, Aston Villa knocked off Manchester City for us too, which means we're six points clear of City. We're two points clear of Liverpool with a game in hand. Uh, with the run home that we've got, whisper it carefully, but we should win the league. With the run home that we got. With six games to go, and we've got to play still Watford and still got to play Leeds, and both of them are basically relegated. If not, they are gone already. Yeah, they're both gone. Um, pretty happy with the run home. Like, you know, Bournemouth we should beat. Leicester we should beat. Leeds we should beat. Watford we should beat. Like, we should not lose a game in the league until the second or last day of the season. And by that stage, if that's the point, we would probably only need one point to win the league anyhow. If things go the way it should go. But anyway, let's see what we got here. In terms of the team, though, um, we are going to go with Pickford in goal. And I had a pretty torrid time last time in the Prem, but he just kept in the Prem in the Champions League against Napoli away. But he just had a very good game in the Prem for us. So I'm going to go with that. Um, could play Mourinho, Moreno, but I did play Pasquetta. I didn't play Pasquetta, so he could start this one, which is fine. To run back in, coming back to fitness as well. DCL. Suchek, probably the only one that's a little legless, but oh well, Stupin starts today as well. Um, but let's get into it. 90 minutes against a side that we're better than. Hopefully we're okay for this one and we uh, play better than what we did against Napoli. I don't like that we're taking no lead here. Saying that, they look, Florian works on 100% fit. Nor is Piero at the back, nor is Fringpon, nor is Giong. The longer this game goes, the more our fitness is going to be better because we did rotate slightly in the last game and we rested players, obviously, in between. Um does being the uh, top goal scorers in the Champions League, yes, yes, I'm very happy. All right, away we go. Into Germany. Big game, big moment. There we are. By the way, Chelsea are like sitting 10th. If they came and headhunted me for the job, would you take it? I don't think we would now that we have this much money in the football club here at West Ham. But say we only had like 50 mil to spend, I'd probably think just for one year to try win the FA Cup and with a squad that has very, very good chance of winning the league, you'd probably do it, right? Um... Well, as we sit right now, I think if I'm going to stay in England, it's with West Ham. Um, because we're as good as anyone when we want to be. Thing this is, things getting here, it's another very even, even, even tie, which I did not really expect against Barrow for. I will say, I thought this was a very, very easy, easy, uh, easy tie for us. Not proving that way. I will say Barrow 4 starting to get a little bit tired now. We're not exactly fresh, you know, but... Um, we're starting to edge of the game, but very even here. At some point, do I come out and try and win this match of football? Bowen Legless. Don't want to really take him off. I'm actually going to move into the 4-2-3-1, though. Diarastica. You know what? Diarastica in here. I think Bowen's going to come out and Pasqueta is going to play off the right because he can do it. I think we are going to go 4-2-3-1 here. As they're getting a little bit more tired, maybe we go at him a little bit. Pickford. Gomez. 66 minutes played. Pasquetta. You know, those tired legs, us trying to go at them could be huge. Zuma's lucky won that. I was so poor from, uh, I think it was Diarastica that underhit it. Sucido. Suchek is about to come off as well. He's a penalty taker. I don't like taking off penalty takers in cup games. But uh, he's on a booking and he's not the most creative here. Stupi now, though. He's got options in the middle. Diarastica, I think he's offside, unfortunately. It was a great ball in. 
Um, but uh, looked offside, I think. But it's a great ball in from Studium. Great header. Dear Rastica loves his attacking midfielder role, I will say. Well, we're celebrating. That usually means we scored. We are 1-0 up here in the Champions League quarterfinal second leg. I thought he was off, to be fair. Great ball from Astupian. Ah, the guy who's tracking Astupian's kept them all on. So, well on side in the end. My eyes have deceived me there. Probably because it's getting a bit late and I'm about to go to bed. But yeah, the guy tracking Astupian keeps them all on side and Dear Astupian takes it pretty much off what would have been Calvin Lewin's head. And there we are, 1-0. Going to stay in the 4 2 3 1 for now. This is where we should get Suchek off so he doesn't get suspended. Um, but yeah, with them being legless and us being 1 0 up, I think 4 2 3 1 staying right now is huge. Calvert Lewin blocked. That could have been it. 2 0, that would have been all she wrote. That would have been all she wrote. The Erastic could rip. Cleared away. Suchek. Pasqueta blocked. Calvert Lewin? Or oh, could have crunched. Might move back into the 4 3 3 though. I think Sywood is going to come into there. The Erastic of a is on a booking, and I'm actually going to bring in Marino into here and go two box to box. As we did against Chelsea in the last game. Back into the 4 3 3. If they score now after switching back, I'll be livid. That makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. Joe Gomez is legless too. Back to the 4 2 3 1. 10 shots, 4 on target, and they have no fitness. But okay, they get a corner highlight out of nothing goal. Like, it makes sense to go back into the 4 3 and continue dominating how you were. This is what I don't get about FM. You go defensive to go see out a lead, you always concede. You go and make a decision that makes it a more defensive option, you go concede. So I will score as his second goal for us, and we're 2 1 up now. So then you go back to a system that controls and has a good tempo, where you hold City to only con you know, conceding once. We've beaten Liverpool in a 4 3, whatever. So apparently, the minute you switch in, not even 30 seconds later, they score. FM is very weird. Where things tactically should make the most sense. Like right now, you should be switching back into the 4 3 3 and probably being a little bit more defensive and see out this game. But we're going to stay 4 2 3 1 because apparently that's going to not produce a highlight now because that's what Football Manager does. And they have no fitness and no right to get back into this game at all. Six minutes out of time as well. Here we go. If we can see right now, I've bottled it because we should have went defensive. But at the same stage, um, FM is backwards and rather than go to very attacking right now. To see out a lead. Bellerin. Pasqueta. Calvert Lewin coming in front stick. He went for goal. No, he didn't. He squared at the Diarastica. 3 1 on the night. Five for an aggregate. All she wrote into a semi final, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Are we playing Liverpool in said semi final? Are we playing Liverpool in said semi final is the question. Pasqueta. To the byline. Somehow goes through Hardecki and then Diarastica puts it in. He's a great little footballer. But there we are. We're into the Champions League semi final. Diarastica off the bench with two. The 4 2 3 1 is a really good system. Very limited to switch and literally bang goal straight away. But we switch back. Goals again. They were pretty legless. Caught them cold. And uh, look, at the end of the day, the quality shone, even though a few of our boys did not have a good game. We will be playing Liverpool. We are playing Liverpool in the semi-final. Gomez is out for four to five weeks as well. Wow. Um, we're starting to lose players of injuries notes as well. He's not going to be available for the second leg either, so we're going to have to do it with Bellerin. Brilliant feeling. He's able to make the impact. Don't care about technology. Yeah, whatever. It's not perfect, but it's fine. And there we go. All right, so Liverpool is the next episode. Champions League semi-final. We've got Bournemouth from Leicester, and then we've got these two here, and then we've got the Leeds game being rearranged in between Villa and Arsenal as well. But we're in a fantastic position. Two points clear of Liverpool in the league. Six points clear of City. And we have Liverpool in the semi-final of the Champions League.
Till then, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Give it a like, subscribe, and goodbye.